21st of March 2024, His Excellency the President of the Republic of Uganda amended the composition of cabinet, appointing some new members. Among those newly appointed were nine members, and one of them was Mr. Baram Bargahara. In order for Baram Bargahara to discharge his duties as ex official member of parliament, by virtue of Article 781D of the Constitution, he is required under Article 814 of the Constitution take and subscribe the oath of allegiance and the oath of member of parliament. Right Honorable Speaker, the say Baram Barugahara is in the presence of parliament, ready to take and subscribe the oath. May I therefore request for your permission to invite him to access the chamber for the affirmation purposes. Permission granted for Honorable Baram Barugahara. I, Barugahara Baram Ateni, I swear in the name of the Almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Constitution of Uganda and that I will preserve and protect and defend the Constitution. So hold me, God. For this opportunity, here before you is now a full minister. <laughs> Sitting, sitting on a front bench, yeah. courtesy of General M. Seven Kaguta approved by Parliament Appointments Committee, yes. uh, yeah. recommended by Ugandan. Yeah. <laughs> but before before he became a member, before he became a member, a uh, small uh, brief about me: I'm the Vice Chairman of PLU, which is a civic organisation which is a non-partisan organization, which is a, a transparent organization, which is an organization that advocates for fairness in society. Uh, I thank Parliament for giving me this opportunity. Our support supporters are released. The President, in his own voice and video, he said, give me the list. I requested the National Unity Platform to provide the list. Hope the uh, leader of opposition is here. I'm yet to get it. And the, and the, and the, and the, and the, uh, right, right, right when I was speaker, right, right when I was speaker, point of order, point of order, uh, uh, right, 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 right when I was speaker. Honorable colleague, please, 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 please. Order. Order. Honorable colleague, the Honorable Bargara, Baram, I started with human me. So I'm not fair to respond to anything. So let us feel as if we are protecting him. Huh? Yeah. So let, let the leader of the position bring it to the border. Honorable speaker, I request that you protect me from excited colleagues. Right, Honourable Speaker. Please, Honourable Speaker. Please, Lop. Thank you, Right, Honourable Speaker. Uh, firstly, I think we, it's important that as Parliament, we orient our new colleagues on uh, our modus operandi as Parliament. Um, how we operate, points of order, and, and the like. But more importantly, Right Honourable Speaker, the, the point of order that I'm standing up on, we discussed in this very parliament, issues of missing persons, some who have disappeared, people who are in jail irregularly, some missing persons for whom the Prime Minister of Uganda acknowledged are in the hands of the state, like John Bosco. Attorney General, court 
is processing many of these matters and we have asked that they be released on bail because this is not prosecution but persecution. Right Honourable Speaker, is it in order for a new minister who seems to be a novice to come with excitement and claim that he has mandate to pursue a matter of people who are simply being persecuted as opposed to being Honourable Premier, Honourable Premier, if if the Honourable New Minister, Honourable Premier, you know the language we use in Kenya, okay? Honourable Premier, you know the language we use in this Kenya. Even when you disagree with the person, language is like a novice, a member of. A member of parliament is a member of parliament is a member of parliament. Okay? Don't have the same Do the need for you. You're a gentleman. There is a language you don't use here. There is a language you don't use. Right, Honorable Speaker, as a lawyer and as somebody who knows English, the word novice means somebody who is new to a profession. The Honorable Balan Barugahare is a new minister. So the word novice is not derogatory in any way except for people who we need to teach some English. You see, you see on our colleagues, how we start with problems is how we do. Okay? Look, look. You no, know, I know you would be insulted if I told you this. The Honorable Baran Bargara is a minister. Yes. And the three president now is the teacher of this house has been born in. Okay? So, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a very patient man, and I know you're a gentleman. Okay? Please, let's use. Right, Honorable Speaker. Right Honourable Speaker. Right Honourable Speaker, you asked me to speak. Please protect me from these examples. No, you're protected, don't you? You're protected. We keep learning and uh, I am glad to even teach police some English. When you Google the meaning of the word novice, for those that have smartphones and some data, definition number one, a person new in a job or situation. Yes. Balan Barugahari is new, the Honorable, is new as a minister. So there's nothing wrong with calling him a novice as a minister. I thank you. Procedure, thank you. Procedure, procedure. Thank you, Honorable Clark. I hereby direct you, sir, you expunge yes. the submission of the Honorable yes. Senior. Yes. Honorable Baran, continue, please. Yes. Continue. Uh, right Honourable Speaker, so during the appointment committee, I was given a task as a fair person who believes in fairness, uh, with knowledge of my background as a, a patriot, to speak to the President who is appointing authority, to stand surety for the young men who, who are detained and they have not yet gone on trial. So the president accepted to pardon most of them who are not who don't have cases of murder, and he said security forces should uh, and, and the intelligence should expedite the investigation uh, uh, going on. So I will request my brother uh, Honorable George Senyon to give right Honorable George Senyon to give me the list. I will do that for you, Joel, and I will make sure the president acts on that. Thank you. Then, uh, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. The only one